Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you so much for coming. My name is Preston Tobri, and uh, I'm going to talk all about uh, my surprise entrepreneurship into um, creating adaptive technology for special needs animals. Once again, Preston Tobri. I'm actually a uh, um, an educator as well. My main job is for the University of Maryland Libraries. I run the makerspace there, and I collaborate on campus with basically all the makerspaces to try to get um, this technology into the classroom to try to figure out you know, uh, how to get this into everyone's hands. And from that, uh, came into a business. So how did I get started? Well, it's a little hard to follow Enable because they do fantastic work. Um, but I'm gonna pull on hard strings a little bit by showing you cute kitten pictures. Uh, so basically how I got started was uh, a couple of years ago, back in 2017, I followed this young lady in the middle. Her name is Hannah Shaw. She's a professional kitten rescuer. Uh, she used to live right down the road uh, in DC, and uh, one day she had Chloe, the cat, who I'm holding over on the left hand side. Chloe, the cat, came up on Instagram. She had rear leg paralysis, and um, I reached out to Hannah. Hannah has about, I think, a million followers now on Instagram, and I did not expect her to respond to me at all. But to my surprise, 20 minutes later, I got or a text message back and said, we need to talk. So the really awesome thing was is that I have a very long commute. I actually live in Western Maryland. So we had the opportunity to talk on the phone for about an hour and a half while I'm driving home. How could we figure out a way to help Chloe? So previous before our conversation, she had actually taken Chloe to the vet um, and with some or therapy and acupuncture. Chloe was actually showing signs of being able to walk again. So we wanted to create a way to help Chloe walk with an assisted walking device. We didn't call it a wheelchair. We didn't want to. So this turned into the cutest photo shoot I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> this is Chloe uh, receiving her brand new wheels, we called it the Barbie cart. And, um, you know, she uh, she really enjoyed it. <laughs> I'm only kidding, she did not like it at all. Cats don't like to be contained. And, um, so we decided that Chloe just did not want any part of this device. Uh, she actually did a lot better scooting around with her legs following her. Um, so. And I actually created a YouTube video all about it, how it was a really good learning experience for both of us. And it kind of became history. I think our YouTube video hit 9,000 views, maybe 9 million views, I don't remember. But it, it just kind of turned into history. So about a month or a, about a year later, in 2018, she reached out to me again. It was almost a year to the day with this little guy. So this is the tiny but mighty kitten named Badger, all right? He was actually found in uh, DC behind a uh, oil painting at a local art gallery. He was with a sibling um, who did not make it, unfortunately. He was found super cold and very, very premature. So what made him special was um, he had a condition called megaesophagus. Has anyone ever heard of megaesophagus? No? Okay. So, megaesophagus is really known in the canine world. Basically, it is an area in the esophagus, right here. It's a bulbous area that if an animal with this condition eats at a normal angle, problems can occur. Um, food can get lodged in there. Asphyxiation, regurgitation, aspiration, lots and lots of problems. So, to battle that, dogs actually have a um, do it yourself chair called the Bailey's chair. 
to sit upright. It's a box. Um, that's great for dogs, but cats, as we know from Chloe, don't like to be contained. So Hannah reached out to me, and again, she actually had drawn some ideas um, on a piece of paper for a raised feeding device. She looked for maybe a week to try to find some for a cat with no luck. So that's when we came up with this uh, device called, well, at first it was called the Badger Bench. Um, we created a, a very, very basic box that held a specific bowl that Badger had become accustomed to using. It was at a 45 degree angle with a six inch step. It allowed that, that angle for gravity to assist that food all the way down past those bulbous areas and into the stomach. I worked. And um, with the final design, it's kind of hard to see in this picture, but we actually created a way for the, the bowl to be articulated to where as Badger is growing, the device grows with the, uh, with the cat. You can actually see it on this device here. This is my latest design. Um, and now Badger's a big boy. He's uh, living close by. Um, and he actually, with the help of this device, grew out of mega esophagus. So, after this happened, she put up a fantastic YouTube video. Um, within days, I got 50 to 75 emails saying, where can I find this device? Well, I had no idea that this would be so popular in so I decided to create a business and from that business it's actually uh, I opened up last November and um, we've shipped all over the world uh, lots and lots of cats and dogs have this condition a lot of dogs don't like to use the Bailey's chair so I've got several different versions out there it's given me the opportunity to visit and work with lots of really great people uh, you can see me with Jackson Galaxy up there basically backs my stuff. It's, it's amazing. I'm affiliate with Matter Hackers now. Um, this is one of our local fantastic veterinarians. Uh, she uses my devices exclusively with all special needs animals that she gets. And now we're branching out with different animals like dogs. Uh, that's Billy Ugly, the dog. If you didn't know. <laughs> Looks just like him. So over the past year, um, I really pay attention to my customer feedback, and I think it's really, really important as a, a small business to listen to your customers. Uh, going back to the Badger Bench, it was very, very simple design. It had a, a lower and a, an upper um, pad, as you can see on the, uh, the purple version there. A lot of my customers said, I don't need the, the base pad, so I took that off. Um, and over the past year, I've created new designs, I've changed designs by listening to customer feedback, and finally, um, about a month ago, I released the wall-mounted version, uh, it's where an animal doesn't have to have this condition to eat up right. Um, the wall-mounted version, you provide the step up, uh, and it's at a lower price point. So, adapt adaptive tech and consulting, uh, basically does a lot of different things. Uh, we do the uh, special needs animal stuff, but we also do like 3D print um, design work, like trophies. As you can see, I've done some work with um, creating architectural miniatures. I do a lot of uh, outreach to local schools and libraries and um, educational facilities to, to mentor them into creating maker spaces. Um, yeah, I do a lot. <laughs> so I, this is like get in touch with me um, at Adaptive Tech Consultant on Instagram and Facebook. There's my website. Any questions? Uh, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Any questions at all?
questions. We're all set.